Right, should we go get in the car? Yes! Who's ready for their ballet workshop? Me. You! Her ballet school have a Christmas workshop for all ages and it was first come first serve, sorry. I know you can't see me but I'm just trying to rush to get everything together. It'd help if I put my shoes on, wouldn't it? It's gonna be children of all ages going to the workshop today. It's a nutcracker workshop. One teacher's gonna go off with the younger group and the other teacher will have the older group. And then they're gonna come together and do a performance at the end. I've got very big hair today and um, I still don't have an umbrella. Thank you for the recommendations. I have spotted one, which I'm gonna order. My mum's going to meet us there and come and watch the performance at the end. Instead of it being the usual 45 minute class, um, it's a two hour class. So we're gonna go find somewhere to get coffee. just arrived at ballet and the whole car park is flooded. It's chaos because there's way more people here than usual per the class. Way. Yeah, wait, and yeah, and then you can just drive up there. Reverse, yeah. Just run <laughs> it's an eventful morning. The car park has never been flooded before and it's flooded on probably the busiest morning. So I'll have to get all the way home and get wellies. If you look outside, there's a very big puddle. Okay. This is her bag with her drink and her um, snack. I'll see you in a bit, darling. I'm going to go back get wellies. Do you think I should call my mum and see yes. if she wants to come with us? Yes. Yeah. And say that she needs her wellies. Soon we'll be feeling bad. We hadn't planned on detouring all the way back home. Oh, it's really windy. When will I learn? I need to bring my wind muff. I don't even know where my wind muff is, Doug. I've bought like 20 of them. I'm gonna run across here and get some coffee. Attempted to grab some cake. <coughs> I'm gonna grab one of these for Delilah to have afterwards. Pour a cup of coffee and we'll light up in tree. It's Christmas for everybody. But after the unwrapping is all done, oh, you know then they'll be sleeping by half past one. Back to Bali we go. We had originally planned to um, go and find coffee, sit down, have a piece of cake. But we still got some cake, well, we got some cookies. We got that snowman for Delilah. And Doug and I picked up some cookies. He got a dark chocolate and orange one, and I got the fun Becky one, which I'm going to tuck into now. It looks so good. Yeah, it's Margie cookie. Is that? It's so good. <laughs> I've got two sets of wellies. I've got my ankle wellies and I've got my big wellies. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to walk in walk in the water with my ankle ones. I think Is it that deep? I can't wait to watch their little performance. I'll try and get some stuff on my phone. I don't know if I'll be able to show you anything because I can imagine it's going to be a little... Well, I can imagine it's going to be a lot more... Um, a lot more students than there was in her other ballet class. Oh, you can tell I've not had coffee yet. It's 11 o'clock. Half. It's almost half 11 and I've not had my coffee. This is my first coffee of the day. I get this down me and then hopefully I can just drink a sentence. Because... Oh, the whole high street is just covered in water. Thanks. Not worn these ones in a long time. What a palaver. Right, come on. <laughs> this is a good look. I'll take my hat off. Are you sure our car's gonna be okay? Huh? Or is, it, is the car gonna be okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to pick my coat up. Oh what my word, yeah, my ankle boots. I'm so glad I've still got these because my ankle wellies would not have done the trick. I'm gonna have to pick my coat up. We're going to make our way in and um, we will see you on the other side. <laughs> Out we go. Let's get in the car. There's people with no shoes on. <laughs> How are you know the people? What an eventful Friday morning. 
There's your treat to say well done. That was so good. Is it a yeah, snowman? No, it is a snowman. Yeah. Cool. You're welcome. We're gonna go through um, our high street on the way home because one of my mum friends owns a shop there and I spotted her wearing some pajamas on her Instagram story. I asked where she got them from them from her shop. They're so nice and they're limited edition and she's they've run out of all stock apart from one pair. So she's put them by for me. So I'm gonna run in there, collect those, and then we're going to nip into uh, Sainsbury's or Tesco or somewhere and grab some bits for lunch. It's crazy. See you in a bit. I love my town this time of year. So festive. Let's go get these pajamas. Have a lovely day. Much. You too. Have a good Christmas. You too. Bye. Bye. Have a oh, thank you. Yes, I got there now. <laughs> there you go, Baba. Delilah's just having a story after her lunch before I pop her down for a nap. Quickly show you these pajamas. It's really nice to get these from a local shop and support not only a local shop but also a friend. Had to get them in a large because they were the only size they had but I wanted them so badly that I'm just gonna get them taken in. They're by Universe of Us and I just love the pattern. I can never find pajamas I like and then in the past I've bought some just basic stripy ones from Topshop and they split on the bum despite buying ones that are way too big for me to make sure they don't split on the bum i went through two pairs these feel so nice and i don't usually wear pajamas in bed but recently i've been wearing t-shirts because so i've been quite chilly fell in love with the print how gorgeous are those christmas jammies and they're not so festive that i feel silly wearing them out of the christmas period these are just also kind of festive in the sense that i'd wear them throughout autumn, winter. Oh, I just love them so much and they feel incredible. Very excited to wear these tonight. And if they're too big, I'm just gonna tie them around my waist with a hairband <laughs> until I can go get them taken in at some point. Have a nice nap, Bubba. Well done today, you did so well. <laughs> You're in a silly mood. You're in a silly mood. <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> Sleep tight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> quickly make myself a bagel and take it upstairs with me and then hopefully get this wrap with me vlogmas finished vlogmas 10 let's do this have two hours and 41 minutes of footage but because it's a wrap with me there's quite a lot of stuff that i'm gonna Cut down. So yeah, here we go. That nice yogurt, darling. We've just got this one up. Completely lost track of time. Um, I realised it was dark, and I should probably get the light up from her nap. And whilst I was upstairs, this came. I wasn't feeling the old red ones that I had, but the Christmas tree's lacking baubles. And I found these from one of my shops that I've got favorited um, on um, Truva. They're not focusing very well because they're clear. I can go add those to the tree now. I haven't shown you the tree fully. Maybe that's something I can do later. But my mum's about to pop round again so we can have a proper catch up. It's my birthday tomorrow and I won't be seeing her tomorrow, so. We'll have chats and birthday cards and things. For some reason today I thought I'd have plenty of time to frame the um, the pictures that I had up here a while ago before we took them down to do the floors because it gets super dusty and then I just put them up. I finally got frames for them um, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll get to do that today. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. Get these on the tree. I need to find a good spot for these. I may just well show you the tree now. Um, so it's a bit, you know, there's a lot of decorations that you'll recognise from over the years if you've been a, been around for a while. This one I've had for a long time. Can't even remember where I got that from. This little guy and his friend up here I got last year. I've had these guys for a long time. Some of them are from here. Some of them are from Italy. Bought these fabric stars last year. We have these lovely glass baubles from uh from a shop from a local shop in our town and they were made by women in india and it was to help um raise money for 
their education or some, something like that. It was for a good cause. This snowflake was a gift from Doug's mum a few Christmases ago. What's your favourite one? Snowflake. Not that one? Yeah. These are the new ones. Got some ever so festive pumpkins from the White Company, but I like them so I've just added them. And the paper ones are from Arquette. Not sure where these star ones came from, but we've had those a long time. These clear bubble ones, which I love because they look like bubbles. Those are from a local shop. Pairs from White Company this year. Very old glass one there. Let me pop these down before I drop them. These ones from White Company this year. I, lo I love these dogs. Got that one. And I specifically love this one with the party hat. My camera does not want to focus at the moment. There we go. Yeah, I love these dogs. Another new one this year is um, this one. I didn't think I would find a branch strong enough to hold this one. I found this pretty strong one at the top of the tree. And I think it fits perfectly there. We've got some more glass baubles around here. This is also one of my favourite ones. And got some very sparkly ones here. I love this little Nomi guy. Another pumpkin. Oh, and I almost forgot my favourite ones that I got this year. These beaded moths. How... No, they're butterflies. They're butterflies. Oh, sorry, but Yeah, they are butterflies. Butterflies. I just think they are... So lovely. This one's probably my favourite, actually. And the little duck. And the little star, yeah. Little star. And the big star, too. Yeah. They match. They match. Mommy needs to find somewhere to put this one. I kind of want to put this here. However, the branches on the lower part of the tree are not very strong. Oh, but that might, that might balance there. It's a bit risky. It's a little bit risky. Hello, Delilah. No. My mum's just next door with Delilah doing bedtime so I can get on. We're getting vlogmas up. It's a long one. It's 30 minutes long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed or enjoy if you're yet to watch it. Give me a cuddle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. Ready to export. I'm running a bath because once Delilah's in bed and I say goodbye to my mum, I'm gonna have a bath. I have been so looking forward to a bath. For the last couple of weeks I keep thinking, oh yeah, have a bath that night and I just don't get round to it. I just feel like I've been running around not being able to keep up with myself. Finally, this weekend, I feel like I'm starting to get on top of everything and I can breathe, enjoy the weekend, enjoy my birthday tomorrow. And then I'm gonna get into my new gym jams, gonna have some dinner, I've got a quick dinner. I'm just gonna make a big old salad with some pumpkin, pumpkin butternut squash, pumpkin and something filled pasta. I'll probably bring my laptop into bed and do the description and the thumbnail for the vlog and you shouldn't really bring working laptops into bed but I just really want to get into bed, get snuggly. And I have this bath bomb that I bought myself the other day. I don't know which one this is but it's one of my favourite scents from Lush. Oh it's just, it's the best. I'm probably going to come out of the bath looking very glittery but it's worth it because 